Hey guys, Fle here. Today I'll be making a quick guide for the second trio dashes on the third and phase on Dragon Song Repress Ultimate, so let's get right into it. Here are certain things that you need to know first of all. There is going to be two adds that will always be spawning on the west side and the east side. In this case, it is towards the 3 side and the C side. Second thing that you need to know is there is always going to be a Dark Knight ad that is going to be spawning on the intercardinal spots on the arena. In this case, it is at the northeast side, but it can be on the northwest side, on the southwest side, or the southeast side. Next thing is, there is going to be two sets of markers that spawn on anyone on the party. It is going to be labeled as sword markers, they are going to be blue swords that spawn over your head, it is going to be a single sword or a double sword. Next thing is, Thordon will spawn anywhere on the arena and there is also going to be an eye that will spawn on anywhere on the arena. You need to look away from Thordon and that eye together when you're executing this mechanic. For this one, we see here that there is these ads also facing towards one side. It can be this ad facing downwards like you can see here and this one will always be on the opposite. Or it can be this one will face outwards here and this one will face downwards here. Now here is how this strat works. First off, you need to assign your group 1 and group 2. Here you can see it is our group 1 and our group 2. We make it so that there is our main tank our healer one, our melee one, and our ranged one is going to be on the one side. We also make it that there is going to be the second group, the off tank, the second healer, the second melee, and the last caster is going to be on that group always. So this basically means that group one will always go towards the one marker, and group two will always be going towards the two marker. Now for this strat, there might also be such a case where you might have 5 people on one side and only 3 people on one side. Hence, for this strat we need heavy mitigation which I will show you guys in a few. Now here, you can see that the first marker is going away towards 3. The reason for this is the Dark Knight is going to plunge onto the first marker first and then into the second marker. So you have to make sure that the first marker is always away from the Dark Knight. Let's say that the Dark Knight was at Northwest for example, this one walk marker would have gone towards C. Now let's go back to our initial position of the Dark Knight. Here, everyone from the group 1 is going to be moving towards 3. So we have our marker here and everyone from group 2 is going to be moving towards C here. So we have our second marker right here. What's going to happen is the dog net will plunge here and then he is going to plunge towards C here. Now let's take a look how we resolve towards where we need to go. You have to check the ad closest to you. So this group will check this ad and this group will be checking this ad. Make sure to always go opposite to where he is facing. So this means that this ad is facing downwards here. This means we are going to be going clockwise that is to the left side facing the arena. So this group will basically be going towards 4. This group as well will be going clockwise, that is towards the left facing the arena, because their ad is facing this side, hence they will be going downwards here towards D. Now, to dodge it efficiently, what we do is, everyone here, after you get the plunge from the Dark Knight, that is he plunges here and then here, you are going to be running towards the 4 marker here and towards the D marker here. Everyone here will be going at around here first. Because these ads on the middle, they are going to be doing a dash. These players here on the second group are basically going to be moving towards here. There will be orb explosions, there is going to be these dark knights dashing everywhere on the arena and there is going to be 
orb explosions everywhere on the arena like around here and everywhere else I'm not going to pinpoint the exact positions just make sure to look at where the safe spots is the first safe spot is always going to be further and then we curve backwards so after the safe spot here you will see that there is going to be an orb explosion right here and another orb explosion right here after these orb explosions go off everyone in the group is going to curve back towards where they were so they are going to go towards here so as you can see here this will be the safe spots and this is how you resolve the entire mechanic here is a video example on how we did it so here you can see that uh, there is the one marker so I am in group one we go towards here make sure to look at uh, how many mitigations we have we have Panheimer we have Divine Veil vale, we have a tech LB as well we have the Keratrol from the Sage we have the Eucreation prognosis as well now we are going to be looking away from Thodon so I will be looking away from Thodon and in case you saw our ad here you can see that the ad is facing this side this means we are going to be dodging towards 4 so as soon as the gaze finishes you can see everywhere just lights up there is this plunge that the Dark Knight does and we are running towards 4 just like I said before you see this orb spawn and there is this safe spot and as soon as the previous orb here finishes you are going to go back here and this resolves the mechanic completely this strat always works so just you have to make sure that you are always looking towards the east side and the west side let's take a look at a second example so here the bosses cost sanctified of the world and there is the dark knight that spawns on the d side and you can see this ad facing towards the c side is facing downwards here and there is our two marker and our one marker this basically means that this group is going to be going towards c and then dodge towards b because this ad is facing this side if this ad was facing towards the southwest side here we would be dodging towards d so here I run towards the one side because I'm from group one so we dodge the gaze from Thoden and the out eye there is all our mitigations here and you can see this ad for us is facing this side this basically means we are going to, to run towards the two side so here this plunge goes off we run towards the two side just right here before the two marker and you can see that these orbs go off as soon as the previous orb goes off we run back in and then this mechanic resolves itself here is a third example so here you can see again the dark knight spawned at d but this time this ad is facing towards b this means that the group is going to be running towards d the other group is going to be running on towards 4 because this ad is going to be facing towards 2 so we always run opposite of it so here you can see here we dodge this eye you can see it is right here and Thoden as well now as soon as the plunges go off we run towards 4 let this AOE go off first and we run back into it and then this mechanic resolves itself Thank you guys for watching if you have any further questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time